Right. I, I, I don't agree that the, the U.S. government system is better than the Mexican the, the, system. The, the Mexican Constitution is not even comparable to the United States Constitution. I don't disagree. Okay, so would you agree that where North Korea ends and South Korea ends, that line means something? I think or when, that that is or uh, when East and West Germany ends. Equivalency. So if you believe North in a Korean border situation has no equivalent in the modern world. No, no, but I'm, I'm saying borders. As a comparison to the U.S. Well, Mexican borders, borders matter. Oh, you, you just said they don't matter. We're on the same earth. They matter when it's a communist dictatorship state that literally kills what, what, what people in the Holocaust. What about Mexico's a lawless country like that. Mexico that is run by cartels? Say that again, sir. Lawless. Say that again. Mexico. Okay, how many politicians were killed during the last election cycle? Lawless. 580 politicians were killed in Mexico last year running for political office. The cartels run the country of Mexico. Okay. You can't refer to the whole place as lawless. Mexico is what's up people hope you guys are feeling good today guys we're back again to new video so we're going to check out leftist students cannot comprehend how open borders are bad this is by charlie cook i can't charlie kick because of kicking us let's get right to today's video i mean just the whole environment with this and the cameras and everything to me is like not conducive to healthy conversation i think it's inherently threatening to a lot of people I'm sitting behind the table. With my you're arms not physically out. threatening me. Do you, I don't think you. I mean. But then, what, if you're emotionally threatened, who cares? That's my point. You're I mean, emotionally but threatened by all of this. So feel, feelings mean nothing in the world. No one cares about how you feel except yourself and maybe your mother. Okay. Feeling, feelings are irrelevant. Well, you're here sharing your feelings with everybody. No, I'm sharing my logic, my fact, my facts and thoughts. I haven't told you once how I feel. There's a difference. Feelings and facts are two different biochemical systems in how the, the mind and the body operates. Feelings are based on emotion, rising blood, blood levels, blood pressure, so on and so forth. Facts and logic are over long periods of time through reflection and through using math, science, and analysis of data. No, that's what I'm saying. So I'm not telling anyone how I feel. I'm telling people how I think. It's a big difference. Okay. Hey, I got a question. Sure. Well, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Nice, nice to, to see meet you. you. Yes. If you have your own like photo and everything like that, um, so I just want to comment on the hat and the shirt. Sure. Um, everyone's entitled to their opinions. I completely respect that. Uh, live your life. But like, you know, a lot of immigrants do come here undocumented, and my family and I, being one of them, and we contribute to the economy. You know, I'm a graduate student, a 3.75 GPA, very smart guy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, immigration isn't perfect in a lot of ways. So I think instead of focusing on increasing border, I think it's definitely important to just focus on lubricating the, the immigration process to be fair, impartial, and quick. Um, I would agree with some perfect. of that, but jumping the border is not immigration. Yeah, well, what do you think about the kids that didn't have a choice? They, I mean, their parents should be deported. And the kids? I think maybe given a second chance. Yeah. The immigration reform bill talked about that. Aleppo Trump Aleppo. actually would have allowed the Dreamers to stay, and the Democrats opposed it. And why do I wear an ICE hat? Because the number one population ICE goes after are child sex traffickers. They've arrested 14,000 child sex traffickers this year. 14,000. Hmm. Uh, the second population that ICE goes after are MS-13 gang members, of which no one can make a moral defense that it's a good thing that the MS-13 population in America is growing. U.S. Border Patrol is called a racist organization. 56% of Border Patrol agents are Hispanic. Well, I have no way to check your sources. And That's fine. You can independently check it's them. Can, can I give some uh, what, One second. Let me, let me. Let me. Uh, there's, there's a point. All I just want to say is that, like, undocumented people that came here when they were young or whatever age they came here, I think, we, I think, we do contribute to your economy. No doubt. And I, do, I, I, think um, there's a, I think there's a logical argument to be made that someone who didn't make the choice to go over the border should not be penalized for that at an age below a certain level. But it's not fair to the immigrants from Bulgaria and from Indonesia and from Central Africa who didn't have the opportunity to jump the border, that had to wait decades to get into this country, that will reward people that just happen to be closer to the border, broke True. the immigration laws, domiciled themselves here, call themselves immigrants when they're really border jumpers. No, I, I appreciate it. Yes, but I think that we could actually find common ground that people such as yourself should be allowed to stay and be productive. But your parents did break federal immigration law, and there has to be some sort of recourse that, or else it will never stop. From? <laughs> Chicago. But where are their parents where are from? from? My parents are from Mexico. But the point is, is that that's I mean, a whole argument. About originally, my parents, my great grandparents, came here from Poland legally. 
they didn't jump the border. Oh, I'm a proud Mexican, still a citizen, and I'll thank y'all for the time. Thank you for sharing your Well, do you realize what happens, like, you go across the border? You realize it's a metaphor, right? Yeah, I, I grew up, like, 15 minutes from the border. Okay, so then why is it that 95% of Border Patrol agents support building a wall? Wouldn't they know best how to secure our border? Where are you pulling that metric? 95%? Um, the Border Patrol Association. That, never heard that metric. Okay, you, again, you can fact check anything I want. I encourage you guys to look it up. I'm sorry? No, no, one second. I want to... Ninety-five percent of border patrol agents. Like yeah, you can though. Uh, okay, but you, again, type in ninety-five percent border patrol agents. Oh, okay, again, facts. Don't care about your feelings, but facts. Don't care about feelings. Well, um, do facts bother you? Do facts bother you that thirteen thousand kids are trafficked across the border every single year? or millions of guns, or that 90% of our of heroin and fentanyl in this country come across the southern border, or that MS-13 in America is growing, which is predominantly illegal immigrants. Does that bother you? I'm just more on the 95% of... 95% of Border Patrol agents support building the wall. Art Del Curo, who is the vice president of the Border Patrol Association, has publicly said it and released that data. You can ask yourself, what percentage of Border Patrol agents support building the wall? I'd support something that helped my job security too. Okay, but they, but border patrol agents are threatened, assaulted, and killed on the front lines by people that come across the border. This is such a false narrative. There's no war zone going on. What about the people no, in many Mexico, people, though? It's like 0.001% that's MS-13, so, and Trump puts this narrative. Okay, oh, so let's let's look at the, let's look at the fact. So illegal immigrants fact. committed 54,000 assaults last year. There's so fifty. I there's don't fifty. The numbers of the, actual there's, citizens there, that committed worse. But the illegals shouldn't be here in the first place. The That's illegals. the point. Yes. The illegals. Correct. You know, we all live on the same planet. Borders sure, are so, made up, man. The planet's dying. Okay, so great question. Why, why do borders matter? Because borders are a distinction and a physical delineation of when good ideas start and bad ideas start. For example, for example, are you saying the United States is the good side and the other side? Without a doubt, our, our laws are much more moral than the laws in Mexico. Without a shadow of a doubt, we have we have due process. We have cross examination of witnesses. We have the rule of law. I don't agree that the, the U.S. government system is better than the Mexican The, the, the Mexican law. Constitution is not even comparable to the United States Constitution. I don't disagree. Okay, so would you agree that where North Korea ends and South Korea ends, that line means something? I think or when, that that is or uh, when East and West Germany a false ends? equivalency. So if you believe the North in a... Korean border situation has no equivalent in the modern world. No, no, but I'm saying borders... as a comparison to the U.S.-Mexican well, borders, borders matter. Oh, you just said they don't matter. We're on the same earth. They matter when it's a communist dictatorship state that literally kills what, what, what people in the Holocaust. What about Mexico's a lawless country that. like Mexico that is run by cartels? Say that again, sir. Lawless. Say that again. Mexico. Okay, you're how many politicians were killed the during the last election cycle? Lawless. 580 politicians were killed in Mexico last year running for political office. The cartels run the country of Mexico. True. Okay. You can't refer to the whole place as lawless. Mexico Based is generally not the greatest place in North America right now. Yeah, so the solution is to not let them come here, right? No, well, the, so, the solution is is a lot of different things. First and foremost, you protect your own country because you care about your citizens, not because you hate the people on the outside. Secondly, if the walls don't work, why does Mexico have a wall on their southern border with Guatemala? Are you saying that wall works? I don't know. Yes, it does. It works quite well. What are you using to prove that metric? What you know what it, happens what makes when it you, work? Well, because they have lower illegal immigration rates from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador are coming in their country than to we Mexico. do with Mexico and I the United that 100%. States. What happens when you know what happens when you illegal, you know what border. happens when you illegally immigrate to Mexico? You get deported back to your home country. Why don't we do the same? That's one thing they do right. Sounds like we should let them over here. To I'm pretty sure we can do that all the time. Right? No, we have that we know of 15 to 20 million illegal immigrants in this country, and it's not fair to the legal immigrants from Bulgaria or from Ukraine or from Central Africa that had to wait many decades Nobody to come in this country. Nobody needs to escape Bulgaria, okay? Well, they people did They did after the fall of the Soviet Union. Okay, well, how about people in Honduras who didn't kill sure, the they, streets? Sure, we should allow more legal immigrants into America. Oh, okay. Legal immigrants and border jumpers are two totally different True. things. Those okay. that decide not to fill out the forms that so, come into America... So if we get here, we instead of sending them back, we should keep their child and send the parents back? I've never said anything close oh, to that. Oh, that's why... Is, why are there 2,500 ICE kids still not... You, you, united with their parents. You mean the all 50, their parents got sent back to their so home first, first of all, the ICE facilities that you're talking about, 
most of their parents are not even actually their parents. They're being illegally trafficked across the southern border. But see, this is how the arguments work. You just make these generic sort of well, things. It's not, oh, well, it's like, not generic. The Department, of, Just, the Department of Justice did an audit of the ICE facilities, and more than 50% of the people bringing these kids across the southern border were not their parents. They're being, they're being sex trafficked across the southern border. I don't believe border. that the 25 okay, don't believe it. Okay, have... so then we don't have anything to talk about. We'll see, but that's where the debates break down in the modern society. I don't believe you, you don't believe me, and now I'm going to go to class. That's right. Well, I mean, life. I said facts, There's, and you have There's not it. enabling discussion and exchange of facts to a mutual, like, understanding. It's just like... So how is it fair to the immigrants of the rest of the world that 15 million people illegally cross the border to be rewarded fair. for that? If you're coming from a country well, where no. you're going to die... Okay, that, that's exactly right. Who cares well, about being fair? We should be equitable, right? In our immigration policy? I agree with the things you're saying. I don't agree with the okay. general metrics, like 95% of them are okay. MS-13. Or okay, I didn't say that. I said 95% of Border Patrol agents support building the wall when they were serving. You, don't make, you do not make compelling arguments. Thank you. Hello. Honest, great. Okay, so where I was going into addressing that whole thing is the reason I look at this and this whole immigration crisis and what happening, what was happening with the child separation is it's not from a political perspective. It's frankly a humanitarian issue that's been deeply exploited by, in my opinion, a very leftist agenda. So how I kind of got involved with all this is I was working with an organization oh, yeah, nice called Veterans it. for Child Rescue. So myself, I'm an Air Force veteran, and what they did is they're a non-political, non-partisan organization, and they're combating trafficking among children That's coming good. in from Mexico into the U.S. So the oh, United sorry, States has a system set yeah, it's up, okay. and it's for, it's called a T-Visa for victims that have been trafficked. They're not deported back to Mexico. In fact, they're kept here. Um, I believe that when the media was using the term illegal immigrant, why were they just talking about Hispanics? Why are they just talking about Mexicans? That term is for everyone, not Visa just people coming so. from Mexico. And so I really kind of looked into the voting demographics. So you have the Hispanic population, specifically Mexican-Americans, being the largest voting minority in the United States and probably eventually going to be the biggest. Mm. How I got involved with all of this is I started reading the 2018 Human Trafficking Report, really seeing what was happening. You know, Tijuana just recently, within the last month, broke the homicide record because you have two factions of the cartels fighting over trafficking records right in the United States. So there was a system that, correct, put, and right? frankly, the immigration system is broken, right? And you had an immigration reform bill that was looking to pacify both parties, but then you had it shot down by government officials that were Democrat for what reason? It wasn't helping anyone. It wasn't helping the people that they were say saying that they stood up for, right? So that's basically why I'm here and I'm so supportive of that. I don't believe that this country is unwelcoming to immigrants coming into We're, we're the most pro-immigrant country in the world. But when you We've taken half the world's immigrants every single year. But when you do it the wrong way, people are hurt on both sides. And you look at the correlation that we have with Mexico as our biggest trade ally, but you see what happened in the early 90s with the negotiation of NAFTA and how it actually increased the illegal immigrant population coming into the U.S. because they couldn't find jobs in population or jobs that were legal in their own country. So I think it is hand in hand and it's our job okay. to stand up for, especially a population that people are speaking out on a political platform. Um, I obviously, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but when those children were being separated, in my opinion, it was for the right reason because right. Of, you know you never knew who the, these people were bringing over. They said their parents, but then you hear stories about people that are in Mexico right now and they talk about how They'll, you know, give their children up in hopes of giving them a better life, and then they're just exploited because, unfortunately, children and humans are the only thing that you can resell. It's not like it can be confiscated and drugs. When you look at stories like Carla Cito, who actually spoke to her nonprofit, I'm trying to get an interview lined up on human trafficking, um, and she was raped 43,000 times. A lot of people don't want to hear about that number. They don't Coming believe across that it's the possible. southern border. They don't believe that it's possible, but women are forced. I don't care if you're pro-life or pro-choice. These people are treated like cattle. They have their children, if they do get pregnant by the Johns that are purchasing them, they have them taken away, they're exploited. It's modern day slavery. And a lot of the political officials exploit it. They say they want to talk about it, protect these people, and then they don't fix the problem. So that's why I'm here right now. And I appreciate that question. I hope that answered it. It's kind of long-winded. This was really amazing to watch. <clears throat> I don't know why people are so entitled. Very, very, very entitled. They have border jumpers. When you enter into a country illegally, you are you are prompt to be deported. It's it's mandatory they are deported. There's no country when you enter into that country illegally that they will accept you. Oh, you're welcome. Come on in. They will surely deport you. 
I don't know why people are so entitled to be like when this is entire world, why do you call it Im- illegal immigrants? You are, people are so entitled to be in America. Like I, that's something I've noticed about these people who <clears throat> are not actually like American Americans. They feel like it's a privilege. Like they're very entitled. Very, very entitled. Like they're supposed to be in America. Every single person can come to America freely. There should not be any border control. There should never be a border in the first place. Like it's crazy hearing that from people. U.S. is turning to something else. The mass immigration, over 10,000 people coming to the U.S. every single day. It is massive. Over 4 million people, guys, coming to the U.S. 4 million illegal immigrants. It is shocking. There is no other country that has seen such numbers of people coming to the country illegally. People come into U.S. for greener pasture. But that does not mean you come into the country illegally. It is alarming. It is bad it is very very terrible it creates low wages guys low wages if people are not telling you that i'm telling you it creates low wages the main american people who are in america legally can't get job anymore it's serious who are indigent of america it's serious this is a massive thing we should talk about People feel so entitled that anyone can come into America. They open the border for, for Mexican. Because you share borders, America does not give you the right or the permission to come into America just like that. No. You must come into America legally. People are waiting in East in Asians, in Africa. Decades, as, so, as Charlie said, I've seen people who waited years, like five, six years to travel from their country. To America legally, I've seen, I've seen some. So because you share border with America, does not give you the right to just enter just like that. You must pass through process. There's something called process. If you are accepted, you are granted, you can enter. Not just because you share border, you, you are a border jumper. You feel like you are entitled to be in America. What America is tolerating, Mexico, Mexico as a whole, it can't tolerate such. Russia as a whole can't tolerate such. All other countries can't tolerate such. I'm telling you the plain truth. They can't tolerate such because the mass immigration of people coming to America, it is alarming. It is something we should talk about and something we should regulate. And people who come into America who are using the aspect of children, yeah, they are their parents. It is modern day slavery. According to how this young lady explained it, it is happening. Slavery is still occurring. It is over worse than before. It's still occurring. It's just it's been silent, but it's occurring. Like it's really serious. More than this, slavery is happening in a massive number. I love how Charlie handled that student right there that was rudely walked away. And also the guy sitting right there that was talking. He's not bold enough to come up to China and talk to him. He said, where is China getting the stats from? China was like, Google it. It's as simple as that. If you feel like I'm wrong, there's something called Google. You Google it to confirm. There's something called Yahoo. You, you search there to confirm. I love the entire speech. The entire speech was actually meaningful. And I love how Charlie handled it. This is... It's a serious conversation that we should all be talking about every time, guys. This border control is something serious. Because America is turning into a colony society. It's really serious. Comment down below to come about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video with us as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all